Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk you through how I made this Boss Baby Cake. First I preheated the oven and then greased and lined two baking tins. I creamed together butter and caster sugar and then added eggs one by one even though it doesn't show that but I did. Then you whisk that together and then sieve flour, add vanilla and fold that mixture slowly so that all the air that you've just built into it doesn't get beaten out of it. Then I divided the mixture between both the baking tins and then I put them in the oven to bake between 30 and 40 minutes. Now I'm making the buttercream by mixing softened butter and icing sugar together. I wanted to ratio adding the sugar in two parts so I did half and half. Then I added more vanilla and milk and then whisked it. Once the cake's baked and it's cooled down and it's chilled in the fridge for about half an hour. Then I level the cakes and add jam and buttercream making sure to take off the baking paper. <laughs> I never go over the top with buttercream because it oozes out the sides once you put the icing on and it just makes it bulge and not look nice. I start at the sides and then work my way up to the top filling in all the little gaps. I do one coat which is called the crumb coat and then put it in the fridge and then do a second coat. Then I roll out the icing making sure to get out any air bubbles with a toothpick and use the rolling pin to transfer it over onto the cake without marking it. And then using a smooth bar, I push all the air out of the top and then start to smooth the sides down, making sure any air bubbles gets pushed out from the bottom, making sure you don't crease the fondant while you're smoothing the sides down. And then I trim the edges, making sure they're nice and neat. And now I'm rolling out the fondant for the cake board to cover the cake board. Then I printed off two pictures, one on plain paper and one on edible paper. Plain paper is just going to be a reference picture to cut out all the shapes, but the edible is going to be the head that I'm going to use to cut out and stick on icing. The body parts I'll cut out of icing and it's going to be 3D, but you'll see later on. <laughs> I make sure I keep the edible icing inside a plastic bag so that the air doesn't dry it out so that it's easy to work with and i come back to it later then i color the icing with a high chair roll that out and cut it and shape it i did add cmc powder to this to help it stiffen up a bit Ooh. then i painted on all the patterns to mimic the high chair and then used my airbrush to add depth. What I should have done was transfer the cake onto the cake board but I was Little Miss Eager Beaver and I wanted to see it on the cake and I totally didn't even realise that I hadn't moved the cake yet off that board onto the actual cake board. So I slapped that on and then I put skewers behind it to keep it up and then I rolled out icing and cut it out and stuck it on to secure those skewers in place. And then realise mistakes were made. Luckily there was no trouble transferring it onto the actual cake board without any problems. Now I'm rolling out the rectangle strip so that to make a border around the edge of the high chair to make it make more like a high chair. <laughs> Most people have ribbon cutters for this, but I just use a ruler. I use water to, as a glue to stick it, starting from the centre, working my way around the sides to make sure it's all symmetrical, and then cut it down to size. Then rolling out black fondant for the soup, using the little cutout pieces that I made earlier, template pieces, and the same again with white fondant, making the shirt, and then I make his little tie and colour. Again, just using water to stick these down. And then placed it on the cake in the right place on the high chair. 
using white to stick it down. Now I'm using little balls of black fondant to roll into sleeves in like his arms so they're coming away from the cake in like a 3D way like his arms are coming out so I'm just shaping them into little arms until I get it right. I did try and get a good shot of what I was doing I can't really explain I was just like rolling it and squidging it and making lines in it. <laughs> now I'm rolling out some more black fondant but this has got CMC powder added to it and this is to place the head onto and then this will be stuck onto the eye chair. I also added a little bit of shading under the collar and stuff under the where his chin were to give it a bit of definition to make his head look more sticky outy. <laughs> and then I used skewers to hold his head up into place to stop it from flopping back as well and to give it a more rounded face. Then I used little balls of white fondant to make the sleeves and I just stuck them into the sleeves of the arms and then shaped them with the little ball into it. And then I use flesh coloured fondant to shape the arms and I do this by making like a little triangle, like a duck's foot shaped <laughs> piece of fondant and then cut a triangle out and make the fingers if that even makes sense but on the picture he's got his hands in a certain position and i'm trying to mimic that picture trying <laughs> and then i used a glaze spray to make the high chair surface seem more plasticky and then i used my airbrush to spray some shading underneath the high chair to again give it a bit more definition it look more 3d and then i did the ribbon then I started making a cookie out of brown fondant, just shaping it with balling tool and cutting pieces off. And then took a darker brown coloured fondant and just added little pretend chocolate chips in there. And then I did add milk. I did this by adding icing sugar and water together, just a normal little icy mixture, and then just dribbled it on and waited for it to dry. But the professional that I am, I forgot to record that part. Sorry. And I also made an indentation of the web cup holder part is by just moulding a little cup into the cake. <laughs> Again, I forgot to record that part too. Sorry. And then I shaped a bottle out of white fondant, just rolling it around and making it seem as smooth as possible and then mark little indentations in and then get blue fondant to make the top the lid and the teeth. I don't know how to explain how I did it but I just did watch. <laughs> and then I got more black fondant at to cut a rectangle out of to make the little briefcase and then just airbrushed the edges black to give that more definition. And then I cut the name and the age with cookie cutters and then I used double sided sticky tape to add the ribbon around the base. And then finally it's done! I'm sorry if I couldn't help you anymore, but it was hard enough just doing the voiceover. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you like videos, and if you want to see more videos, like and subscribe and I'll make more. Well, I'll make more anyway, so there. <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for coming and watching and being here and staying this long. See you next time, bye!